The Marine Robotics Centre was initiated with support from the Flemish government. The centre is embedded in Vlis, which, as the central hub for marine sciences in Flanders, is the ideal institution to manage and utilise this specialised infrastructure. The Vlis Marine Robotics Centre aims to accelerate Flanders' capacity in marine technology through collaborative projects and with a finality to match the growing societal needs for ocean observations with scientifically underpinned operational capacity and technological solutions. The Marine Robotics Centre has been fully operational since 2019 and currently boasts three autonomous or remote-controlled sea-going robots capable of conducting a range of measurements. The remotely operated vehicle or ROV Zunabloom, an autonomous underwater vehicle, in short AUV, Barabas, and a USV or uncrewed surface vehicle, Ademar. The ROV Zunabloom is an underwater vehicle mainly deployed for deep sea research from oceanic research vessels, although the robot has also conducted missions in the North Sea. The ROV is an ideal platform for the visual inspection of the seabed and can take samples or perform basic operations with its working arm. Zuna Bloom has explored virtually all ocean basins. AUV Barabas is a torpedo-shaped diving robot which can perform a wide array of measurements of the water column, the seabed and the subsurface. It's capable of diving to a depth of 1,000 metres and can remain submerged for up to seven hours. The robot is ideally suited for mapping the seabed and its features, such as shipwrecks or sedimentary structures. USV Adamar has a wave-powered propulsion, while solar panels provide electricity for its measuring instruments. Hence, it can perform measurements of water and atmosphere for weeks or months. Operating an uncrewed vessel in an intensively used part of the North Sea is quite challenging. In 2020, USV Adamar was the very first Belgian USV to leave and enter a commercial seaport with the help of pilots in an onshore control centre. This milestone was made possible thanks to the close cooperation with the competent Belgian and Flemish government authorities. This successful research mission was aimed at measuring underwater noise, a task for which this silent robot is perfectly suited. Recently, the unmanned surface vehicle was instrumental in the Blue Cluster project Coastbusters 2.0. Remote pilots sailed the USV Adamar from the harbour of Newport to the Coastbusters experimental site to test innovative techniques to measure current velocities. In a next phase, the deployment of AUV Barabas in the context of Coastbusters 2.0 will also be looked into. The combination of these three robots makes it possible to operate in various domains and disciplines. Moreover, the robotic platforms are essential to work towards a connected ecosystem of observation nodes in our seas, the so-called Internet of Underwater Things. As such, the deployment of marine robotics also adds a new dimension to the numerous innovation projects, which Vliss has recently undertaken within the scope of the Flemish Blue Economy. In order to broaden the possibilities to support research and innovation significantly, the Marine Robotics Centre will invest in setting up a state-of-the-art robotics lab as part of the new ocean innovation space, including facilities for electronics work and fast prototyping. In addition, through educational activities linked to the Marine Robotics Centre, Vliss aims to inspire young people to pursue a career in the blue economy or marine research. <laughs>